Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to cover the fascia of the head and the neck. But before I start, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the functions of the fascia. Uh, the fascia or a fascia is a layer of fibrous tissue uh, that surrounds muscles or a muscle group or organs. It has, it has many functions, but some of them are to reduce the friction between the muscle and the surrounding area as the muscle contracts. Another function is that it works as a it works as a supportive wrapping for of nerves and blood vessels as they pass through muscles. So a fascia divides into three main groups: the superficial fascia, which is which is loose fibrous envelope beneath the skin, as you see in this picture. It also surrounds organs, glands, nerves, and blood vessels. And then we have the deep fascia, which is uh, deep fibrous tissue that surrounds and penetrates muscles. Uh, deep fascia also divides up groups of muscles. And then we have the uh, visceral fascia which, which wraps each organ in a double layer of connective tissue. You can call this, uh, you can call it the skin of an organ as you see in this picture. Alright, now we can start with the fascias of the head. The fascias of the head consist of four fascias. The temporal, mesoteric, parotid and buccophalangeal. So the temporal fascia lies immediately over and covers the temporal muscle. It starts at the temporal line and then goes down and, and connects to the zygomatic arch. At the zygomatic arch, the temporal fascia uh, divides into two layers, the outer layer and inner layer. All right, the next, mus the next fa uh, fascia is mesoteric fascia. It covers the mesoteric muscle, hence the name. Uh, the mesoteric fascia attaches at the zygomatic arch, above the zygomatic arch, and then inserts or and then attaches to the ramus of the mandible. So the next fascia is the parotid fascia. Uh, again, it's in the name what it does. It forms a capsule around the parotid gland uh, and then attaches to the mesoteric fascia. And then the last fascia of this group is the buccopharyngeal fascia. The function of this fascia lies also in the name. It covers the uh, buccinator muscle and then goes back and fuses with the uh, rafa terigo mandibularis, which is just a bunch of ligaments located at the end side of the jaw area. And then it goes back and covers the uh, back side of the pharyngeal muscles and then to the other side it forms kind of a loop. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the buccopharyngeal fascia on a uh, section of the uh, of the neck when I go through the fascias of the neck. So now the fascias of the neck uh, consist of superficial fascia it's gonna be here um, pre-tracheal fascia, pre-vertebral fascia, and then I'm going to mention the alar fascia and carotid sheath. So the superficial fascia uh, surrounds the the neck. It stretches from the mandible to manubrium. Uh, at the at the um, mandible, at the ramus of the mandible. The fascia divides into outer layer and inner layer. The outer layer covers the mesoteric muscle and the parotid gland, and the inner layer covers the musculus pterygoideus medialis. All right, and if we look at the superior border, it passes through the base of the mandible, and then goes to the processus mastoideus, goes to the back of the. Um, linea nuchala superior and the protuberantia externa and then fuses with the ligamentum nuchala at the uh, spinous process of the vertebrae and then if you look at the inferior border of this fascia it passes through the uh, the uh, manubrium sterni and then the uh, clavicula and then acromium and uh, spinous scapula and I'm also going to mention that this fascia surrounds or it kind of capsules around uh, the craniothoracal muscles, which is the musculus trapezius and musculus sternocleidomastoideus. 
going to show you a little bit better on this uh, section of, of uh, the neck. The blue area here is a superficial fascia. As I mentioned, you can see that the superficial fascia covers the sternocleidomastoideus and the trapezius muscle. All right. Now the next fascia is the pretracheal fascia. Pretracheal fascia is divided into two parts. You have the muscular part and vis uh, visceral part. The muscular part you can find it up here, and the muscular part surrounds the infrahyoid muscles. And the visceral part uh, lies on front of the thyroid gland, the trachea, and esophagus. And remember, I mentioned the buccopharyngeal fascia that it covers the backside of the uh, pharynx. Well, here it is. It is on the backside of the pharynx. All right, so it's going to cover around the pharynx. Uh, and then the next fascia is prevertebral fascia. Prevertebral fascia extends from the base of the skull behind the pharynx and then uh, continues all the way down to the vertebrae column or down the vertebrae column. And as you can see here, this is the uh, prevertebral fascia. This is the vertebrae, right? And this is a, a pre-vertebral fascia. It surrounds, um, it surrounds the deep and the lateral muscles of the neck, and it also inserts on both sides of the transverse process. So now I'm also going to mention the alar fascia. Alar fascia is going to lie beneath the buccopharyngeal fascia and the uh, pre-vertebral fascia. And here you can see the carotid sheath. It has a, it contains the um, it contains veins and and nerves and uh, arteries. And that was the features of the head and neck, and hope this was helpful.